When the original Bryan Station High School was erected in 1958, the enrollment was only 550 students. That group consisted of students who had previously attended Athens High School and those from Lafayette High School who lived on the northern side of Fayette County. Over the course of the next 10 years and through a process of much renovation, enrollment expanded to nearly 1,300 students. In the past five years, Bryan Station's enrollment has soared from approximately 1,200 students to now over 2,000. This is due in large part to their brand new school facility. In 2007, Bryan Station opened their new $43.9 million school building. Highlights of the building include 54 classrooms with an abundance of natural light, 12 college-level physics, biology, and chemistry labs, and an arts wing consisting of orchestra, band, and ensemble rooms. Bryan Station has also completely upgraded their technology available to staff and students, making this one of the most technologically advanced schools in the state. The new Bryan Station High School enrolls approximately 2,000 students from the northeast quarter of Fayette County. With such a large area of Fayette County districted to Bryan Station, it is important to understand that Bryan Station High School is, by a wide margin, the most racially diverse high school in Fayette County. According to the Fayette County Public Schools website, Henry Clay High School has an enrollment of approximately 2,200 students. With approximately 22% of those students being African American, they have around 484 African American students. Tate Creek High School has an enrollment of 1,700 students, 24% of those students being African American, giving them approximately 408 African American students. Paul Lawrence Dunbar High School has an enrollment of just over 2,100 students, approximately 15% of their student population is African American, totaling for approximately 315 African-American students. Lafayette High School has an enrollment of 1,900 students, of which 15% are African-American, totaling approximately 285 African-American students. Now, if we look at Bryan Station High School, we see a very different picture. Bryan Station enrolls right around 2,000 students. Approximately 44% of the student population is white, and 45% of the students are African-American. According to Dr. Peoples, the principal of Bryan Station, this is the first year in the school's history that the African-American population has outnumbered the white subpopulation. That means that Bryan Station enrolls approximately 900 African-American students. You may wonder why I'm throwing all of these numbers at you, but if we consider the combined population of all African-American students in the five public high schools in Fayette County, Bryan Station represents over 37% of all African Americans in those five schools. Not only is Bryan Station High School the most racially diverse school in Fayette County, but there is also great economic diversity within the student body. 65% of the students at Bryan Station qualify for free and reduced price meals, a percentage twice as large as any other high school in Fayette County. Some students come from downtown Lexington apartments. Some live in beautiful homes in northern Fayette County. But students from various cultures find many venues for common ground through clubs and sports. Bryan Station High School boasts over 25 clubs, the district's only Air Force Junior ROTC program, the high school continuation of the Spanish Immersion Program, a freshman academy designed to give ninth graders a solid foundation for their transition from middle school to high school, a medical science academy, an informational technology academy, and a fine arts academy. Bryan Station has varsity athletic teams in baseball, softball, cheerleading, cross country, football, golf, soccer, swimming and diving, tennis, basketball, track, volleyball, and wrestling. Many students, no matter their origins, find themselves on equal footing with their peers on the athletic field. As we prepare to teach at Bryan Station, it is important to remember that our students come from a variety of backgrounds. Many students' life stories may have little or nothing in common with our own stories, but that doesn't mean we don't have anything in common. Dewey says young people in traditional schools have experiences. The trouble isn't the absence of experiences, but their defective and wrong character. It falls upon our shoulders as educators to discover what our students' experiences are and how those will contribute to their education. We should not seek to force our culture on our students but to build upon their many and varied experiences. 
we look into our students' pasts and discover the means for building their futures. Perhaps this is best summed up in the Bryan Station motto, Defending the Tradition, Defining the Future. <laughs>